bond investment in an earlier video we have seen how basic bond investment calculations work in this video we'll go a little bit deeper in bond investment uh, because each bond comes with its own set of policies so you really have to understand what's going on with the money over the years so that you know how much you're going to get upon its maturity things like that so think about a ten thousand dollar bond you're investing at a 13 percent rate and the bond condition says that so it's, it's going to pay every six months so that's going to be 13 percent half of that would be every six months would be 6.5 percent so you're going to get 650 every six months the policy also says that if you don't withdraw anything you will also earn interest on the interest as well so on that 650 as well um, and then it has a 20 years maturity period you get everything back at the end of 20 years and then with all the interest and interest on interest back at the end of 20 years so i copied um, everything right here in excel let me delete these values this is the thing i'm about to show you so here is this phase value given maturity for 20 years interest 13 percent rate so interest compounding twice a year so that's going to be basically 6.5 percent you're going to get 650 there are 40 periods in 20 years uh, what i would look, like to do i would like to create a some kind of loan schedule here or uh, you know periodic cash flow here um, to understand the details about what's going on with our investment and what happened uh, to these to kind of clearly show um, bond investing in even more uh, detailed way um, in the earlier video where we have explained how bond investment works that's just a simple formula we could apply a simple formula to here however uh, when we will develop this it will make more sense um, it will probably take the same amount of time because you have excel you're not really um, doing anything um, manually so you can basically copy and paste everything so the policy says you're gonna get 6.5 percent this you will have that also um, 6.5 percent on that so it's gonna be this times 6.5 percent so that's going to be the cash flow after year one period one after six months is you going to get every six months and you can simply copy that all the way down so that will be the value oh something was not right i see so that 6.5 percent should be freezed like or like this so now copy all the way down i do that all the time so here is this amount you're going to get after 40 years. So that's $124,000. Now, the calculation we have shown in earlier videos, now let's show that way. So it took only like two minutes to develop that and to know how much you're going to get. So you're going to get $124,160.75 after 20 years. Now, if you calculate the way we did before, that's simple too. You can simply calculate the PV value. So, according to the bond policy, you're going to get that $1,000 back. So, it's going to be at this rate for 40 years, or 40 periods, sorry. And then, um, that's going to be the future value you're going to receive. Well, there is no payment so this is the value ten thousand dollar at the end of the period you will receive that as well so that's the value that ten thousand dollar after 20 years only eight hundred dollar and then we are going to receive every six months or every period six hundred fifty dollars so we're going to convert that to present value as well so you're going to write that rate is 6.5 percent um, and because this money will get receive 6.5 percent interest on this uh, this will grow at 6.5 percent interest that's one of the common mistake in the exam that you kind of switch uh, between this inflation and this rate i'll explain um, why they're different later on so here in this case it specifically says the bond will grow at a 6.5 percent every six months so that's the interest rate you'll be using and then it is growing for 40 years you are getting 650 every investing basically every six months like that 
and then everything's zero uh, like this so the total would be ten thousand dollar if you didn't make any mistake if you sum this two it's going to be exactly ten thousand dollar this value so that makes sense now this ten thousand dollar is the present value of the and at a 6.5 percent rate for 40 periods you will see that it's going to be exactly that hundred and twenty four thousand dollars so we're going to simply do future value of this ten thousand dollar at this 6.5 percent rate 40 periods total there is no payment we only have one cash flow present cash flow this that's it you see that's the exact same value we got right here now um, one of the questions so, so this is the amount you're going to get at the end of the maturity period uh, that's the question number one how much you're going to get after 20 years question two says if the inflation rate is about three percent calculate the value of the money today that you're going to receive after 20 years so it is saying that if the inflation rate is three percent how much is this hundred and twenty four thousand dollar in today's value so in today's value or basically present value um, you can say pv that would be basically you can just simply type that pv function and now you're going to use that rate 1.5 percent and that's for 40 periods compounding there's no payment you're going to only convert this future value to the present so that's the 68,000 in today's dollar. Now, and also the third question says, if you invest this same money at that 6.5% uh, rate in that same bot, how much are you gonna get per month, I think? Let me go double check. It says, if you reinvest all the money you receive after 20 years at the same rate, how much will you get per month? So let's say you save this money for your retirement or something then you, how much you're going to get per month so this much is invested at a rate of 13 percent that is the early rate divided by 12. so it's going to be 740 dollar and 49 cents so i hope this explains the details behind what goes behind the scene to kind of summarize you will have to read carefully what the policy says in a particular bond and then you do the perform all the calculation according to that